Alright, hello everyone, um, and uh, welcome to my, um, it should have been my second uh, <laughs> video, but, um, well, it is, because uh, my first, uh, my microphone didn't really uh, pick up the sound, so um, that's a bit annoying, but um, I'll make another one. Um, <clears throat> I am the Great Dane, and... Um, as you can see, this is uh, Crusader Kings 3, and um, I've done a bit of single player, playing as Sigurd uh, Snake in the Eye, I think his name is. And um, as you can see, he's a bit old now, I think I've, uh, uh, his age is uh, 65 or something. Um, but um, yeah, let's get into a new game. And um, of course, I've just uh, played the new game as... Um, King Malcolm of Scotland, because um, I wanted to start in 1066 instead of uh, 867 in this. Uh, oh, it's Sigurd Snake in the Eye. Uh, I don't know if I said his name uh, correct, but 1066 it is. And um, we're gonna play as King Malcolm. Um, and I don't know. Um, if uh, I want achievements available or not, the uh, I understand that um, the achievement um, is only going to be available if you put Iron Man mode on, and that's when the game is saved automatic automatically. Um, so I'm gonna have to. Hmm, I don't know. I don't, uh... Yeah, we'll just, uh... No, I want the, I want the game to be saved uh, automatically sometimes, because, yeah, that is gonna be, um, it. So, we're gonna start as King Malcolm of Scotland. Boom. And, um, as said before, I've, uh, <laughs> played, played, um this uh, video already um, I'm a bit tired now because it's uh, what is it uh, 1 p.m. or a.m. Uh, it's one in the middle of the night uh, in Denmark at least um, I'm from Denmark and um, as you probably can hear uh, on my accent I try to do my best to pronounce the words uh, I've uh, I've seen a lot of the words in Crusader Kings is um, it's very hard to uh, understand sometimes. Uh, the first time I got to play the um, you know the vassals and and the uh, things such as uh, not not tiles but um, but vassals and uh, dukes and alls and yalls and what they're called, um, but. Let's get going. We are Kingdom King Malcolm the Third, Canmore, and I believe Canmore is a bit about um, his personality. Of course, that he is like kind of a chief, like a head chief or something. Uh, it's pretty cool. He looks cool. Uh, I love the beard, <laughs> and his wife likes him a bit. She is arrogant intelligent and stubborn and a fortune builder so her stewardship uh, can help me a lot in the council for example uh, if we set this to manage domain we get 10 plus stewardship that's a lot um, and for example the control in some of the buildings we have is going to be of course 100% now but if we take over some land or something that control will automatically fall down to zero or twenty or something, and will help uh, increase per uh, per month. Um, maybe it already does. Uh, uh, maybe not, but I think that's how it works. But um, we're just gonna set her to assist ruler for now. So <coughs> the bishop doesn't like me and that's really bad 
So we're gonna sway him like that. 89% chance. So hopefully it's gonna be good. And um, we have some done killed dynasty legacies. And um, I've always had a hard time uh, picking which of these is the best. Because, of course, they're all good in their own way. Um, but, um, yeah, it's hard. So we'll uh, come back to that in a while. Lifestyle, of course. Our uh, diplomacy is up to 17 already and excellent. So that's pretty fucking excellent. Uh, also, I mentioned last video, which is not out because it didn't work, um, that I... Uh, should probably not swear that much. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I will try not to do that. But our guy here, King Malcolm, he's quick, which is pretty good because maybe our kids got something like that. Uh, nope. Prince Malcolm, okay. We named our son our own name, that's perfect. And our, uh, he is bossy, that's pretty good because it helps with uh, Marshall um, so he can probably be a good fighter he's only five years old so that would be perfect and what about Duncan here um, Duncan is my player heir and son um, and he's rowdy full of energy that's lovely um, I believe that we not in the game of course because um, my father in the game it's called Dunchat, I think, um, or Dunkelt. Um, uh, in real life, his name was uh, also Duncan, I believe. Uh, so that's probably why I named my son and player uh, Duncan, or the game did. <coughs> so, let's get into some lifestyle here. We got diplomacy, and... Of course, we're gonna finish this down. It's the next one we're gonna get is probably flexible truces uh, before we can get any of the other um, or the other. Uh, you need, to, yeah, of course, I need to select. Um, we are probably just gonna focus on getting some more diplomacy. Um, monthly prestige we have we have a lot of prestige so that isn't the problem right now uh, we don't have that much gold or piety either so that's not good we got a good handful of soldiers uh, three out of six the main holdings we got a military we got some armored footmen man man Mangonans, what uh, aren't they just called onigers? <laughs> um, but we got some bowmen also. Pretty good in forest, hills, and in taiga. And what are we fighting at? Because I, the big objective is of course to get a hold of uh, Great Britain. That's my main plan um, to take Great Britain bit by bit. Um, I think it will be pretty hard to take uh, these islands of uh, Norway here because they have 5,000 soldiers and probably some allies, yep, yeah, uh, allied to only 800, but anyway, um, it's still, still not good. Uh, we only have 2,000, so <coughs> that's how it is. Um, we can probably be ally to our half-brother I hope so, negotiated alliance, yep and one more which is Al Earl Malmer of Aethel um, got a thousand troops and what did he have down here, where was he uh, but a pop pop not him. Is it him? No. I can't remember. We'll let the time pass here a bit so they can accept the. Um, he is down in. 
What's that called? Northamptonshire. Alright. Marvelous news. And hopefully our half brother also likes to be our alliance. Um no lifestyle chosen of course. We're gonna <clears throat> put it in uh, foreign affairs focus. Right here. Oh. And um we got some available dynasty legacy. I am not going to put in any of these right now because like in the last video that I didn't upload because it was um, yeah, a failure. Um, I'm going to the royal court, which is now the second time <laughs> I've been here, so uh, don't judge me. Um, but saucy readings, what is this? Oh, I haven't tried this yet. Uh, lately, I can't help but notice the gaggles of giggling maidens and usually austere warriors gathering in the dark alcoves to listen in rapture to a book. As you can hear, this is uh, pretty hard for me to uh, say and pronounce all of these words. Um, but I'll do my best, of course, and uh, feel free to correct me in the comments if uh, anybody see this video. So, um, yeah. But today I've finally cornered Gilbridge. Gilbrit, maybe. Um, with the book in his hand. It's this guy. All of the, all are tales from pilgrims on the road. However, they don't deal with the salvation of the souls, but with gory m murders and unfaithful wives. I am silent while I ponder the probable reaction of Archbishop Magnus, and Gilbert stares at me in apprehension. So. This is going to be a bit of a role-playing campaign. Um, so, what I am uh, wrathful, so I think that it would be best to take the first one. Um, purify them with fire. You gain 30 dread. How much do I have? How can I see that? I can't remember. Must be here somewhere. I can't remember. Um, but I gained some dread and I gained piety, of course. So that could maybe be uh, be good, because I only have a hundred. And I gain, uh, sadly, a distress because I'm cynical. But um, the archbishop, which doesn't like me right now, gets uh, thirty opinion of me. So that's pretty good. And. Oh, got another. Probably not that good. So we're gonna do this. Boom. And I'm gonna hold a court. I don't know what. Oh, court artifacts. A throne. And of course, yeah. Oh, it's nice. It's nice looking. Large wall ornament. What do I have here? Some house banner. Dunkel Dynasty banner. Um, masterwork, large wall. We're gonna take the masterwork, of course. Wow, sexy. And some. Um, let's see, what else can we get? What is this pedestal? Can we. Can that be here? It can, wow. And we don't have anything more. We have more on the throne, maybe? Is this? Isn't it the uh, chair we're sitting on? Probably not. Well, that's. Uh, I uh, like the other one more, um, but fair enough. That's how it is. Large wall ornament. Masterwork. Do I have more? Oh, it's not gonna work. Oh. Uh. Ba -ba -ba Boom. There and. There. Super. So. And I don't know anything of um, what this is, so I'm not gonna mess with it right now. I'm just gonna hold a cord. So. Well, that, that sound was very nice. 
but um, <clears throat> the code is not going to be available uh, for five years if I hold it, but that's all right. Boom. So I'm not going to read all these. Um, feel free to pause if you want to, but um, yeah, it's going to be hard for me and probably be unnecessary. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to listen to the first petitioners. Boom. So. Okay, uh, I'm gonna read them anyway. Um, an unusual case has reached my court. Two women claims that a baby boy is theirs. None of the villagers can stand as witnesses, saying that it's as if the child appeared out of thin air. No one knew that the women were expecting or adopting nothing. Uh, the mystery has captivated the people, and while we may never know how this all happened, I must resolve this conundrum what decision should i make for the future of this child so uh <laughs> i thought this was, was uh, the child but it's uh it's uh duncan so hopefully not um so we have sandra here and christina um let's see the youngest woman as she has more of a life to raise the child uh ba -ba -ba. Of Brian. Oh, that's the kid. Or what? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Maybe here. No, that's also. <laughs> that's all three of my sons. Fair enough. But with age comes experience. Hmm. It's hard to. Which. Oh, she's hunchback. But she is a mastermind. So let's um Okay, let's see. He sh she is um chest ch ch chased chased. Um that means she dislikes intimidated and um it's probably not the one, I think. Uh she is hmm. I don't know, she's low born, she's low born. I'm gonna give it to Christina because she has more uh, learning. So um, the child will, will, will probably be uh, better with uh, Christina. Boom. So, uh, I am Gruffit, it's the child here. Uh, and I have traveled far to ask you for aid in writing a great injustice. The man in front of me bows deeply before continuing with his well-rehearsed plea. Earl Mokart of uh, Dublin currently sits on the throne of Dublin, but I am the true and rightful ruler of those lands. If you aid me, I'm in pressing my claim. I shall swear fealty to you and severe serve you loyally until the end of my days so let's see here who is he he is um i actually don't know that is my it's probably my no he's a foreign ruler but i don't know if i want to go to war right now uh um probably not gonna send him away but I am I can't help him uh right now I don't think war is the choice right now Boom. so ooh, what is this? Um, a commotion arises from the back of my court. Before anyone can grab him, a man rushes up to my throne, halting before you, but offering no defense. One look in his eyes tells me that I needed to know. This man is not mentally sound. Monster, you send us to die. Why, why do you go unpunished? From this man's ranting, I have discerned that he had somehow been involved in one of my wars which is probably why he's so distressed what 
is it to be done with this last creature? Hmm. So. You immediately enter a single combat with Gilbert. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Um, he's not the best in prowess. How am I? Oh, he's actually better than me. So I'm probably not going to do that. But if I then kill him, um, I get a lot of... a lot of good things um, and if I die <laughs> it's gonna be uh, a short um, a short let's play so um, I don't know yeah I think it's too risky I am um, he's better than, than me in, um, in prowess and Probably also in martial. No, he's not. But he's a strong man. He's a novice hunter. And I am nothing but a charismatic negotiator. So I'm not going to do that. I will have him executed. And I lose 20 stress because I am wrathful. So that is perfect. Boom. And my business is done here. So... That's it for today's video. Um, if you liked it, leave a uh, like and a comment. So anything I can do better. Um, of course, I am not professional at this game. I have only done one single player um, with, um, what is he called? Well, not right now, but Snake in the Eye over here in the uh, Viking Age. Um, so. I am not the best, but hopefully I am going to learn along the way. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I am the Great Dane, and see you next time.